Hey gang, Jack Lair here. Uh, just with an update of uh, what's been going on. We're getting towards the end of the year and a lot of people are discussing their game of the year. And there are really three that stand out in my mind from this year. Now, one of them is a completely non-traditional, actually a lot of them are just out there. Uh, the first one and these are also the games that I've been playing, so if you wonder why I haven't been making videos, uh, one, it's one of the busiest times of year at work, and so I've been doing a lot of overtime to get some cash to buy more video games. The three games that I want to talk about, the first one is Journey. Now, Journey is a darling game on the PlayStation 3. And it's one of the games that I was originally a little leery of because it does some very interesting things. Now, it is a beautiful game, and the footage that you're seeing right now does not do it justice. So if you own a PS3 and you have $15 to spare or whatever it costs, it is a crime not to play this game. It's, it's beautiful. It's got one of the most imaginative gameplay aspects ever where you're just you're jumping around there are no attacks you're playing this weird little thing and all of the story beats are done through the world around you and these little murals so it's very much even if if you're kind of into archaeology I mean it scratches that itch of like you're looking at this this mural and you're trying to figure out okay so this happened then this happened and then this kind of happened and you play it with other people but you don't know who you're playing with and you the closer you are together you can actually like help each other out and there's really no way to grief people because if you get too far ahead they disappear if you get too far behind they disappear or you disappear depending on point of reference I'm not going to spoil the game, I uh, just wanted to show you some highlights of it. Like I said, it is absolutely stunning. Uh, but that's uh, a journey. XCOM is the other thing that's been taking up a lot of my time. And my son's played it in multiplayer, and it's just... It's still a fun game, still an awesome game. His first player game, he actually lost, which was devastating to him because this is months and months of gameplay that was simply gone and he was like but but and he's not used to fail states in games because mostly he plays games where if you fail you go back to the main hub you try again in this case he actually lost the last country and it closed out the game so he has to start all over now I'm not quite there yet. I'm still getting getting to the point where I can uh, take down that stupid big UFO. I've shot it a few times. And the last game that I want to talk about, and this is the game that I have played the most this year, and it has all been in the past two weeks. And it just came out not too long ago, and that is Planet Side 2. Now, for those of you who want to know how good at the game I am, here you go. Yeah, I can't fly. I just, uh, flying in planes, they might as well be giant buses that people shoot out of the sky because I can't land them. All I can do is essentially jump out. But the thing that I really like about it is that everybody is competitive out of the gate. So depending on how good you are at a first person shooter, depending on what tactics you employ, and it is a massive, massive game. Like some of the, I, I wish I had screenshots, but I generally when I'm playing the game I never think to do it but the map has been filled with 40-50 tanks all with people in them planes flying by hundreds of ground troops and that's just my side 
there are three different continents that you can play across and it's a free to play you can either play and unlock or you can just pay station cash with the Sony and unlock it but it's been a really fun time and generally I, I hop on and I find where the push is and I go and I play for a little bit until I realize that people are doing stupid things and the cool thing is that you learn by doing so essentially if you're gonna play the game let me give you some advice hop on find where a lot of people are follow them just watch what they do try and figure out why they're doing what they do where they park the Sunderers because essentially what it is that you can you can spawn on the bases that you've captured or you can move to Sunderers, which are kind of mobile spawn points, if you upgrade them that way. And then what you can do is, wherever you drive, you deploy the Sunderer, and now other people can spawn out of there. The downside is, is that they're instantly big targets for the other teams to blow up. There are three teams on the map, and they're all constantly fighting each other for control. The, the beauty of this is that that means that the three different aspects you can have a three-way battle going on where it's anybody's game like there's there are bases where I've seen one capture point each where each of the groups had a capture point and it was just it was just it was it was it was hell and it's got that good feeling and it's tense and you don't survive long so every time you round a corner you are very aware that if you don't check the corners then you die. It's also got a verticality that is unmatched in first person shooters because you've got jump jets, you can ah, tribes ascend maybe. But you've got, I mean there are people with jump jets, you can climb up towers, there are uh, portals lifting you up, you've got planes flying above, blowing stuff up, cats and dogs living together, that kind of thing. And it's just been a blast. Um, so I, it's free to play. Uh, I recommend uh, taking a look at it on Steam. Uh, if you want to find me, I'm. I'll put my server down here. If you want to play, I'm playing the Rebels, of course. And they're essentially the three factions are basically the Rebels, the Empire, and aliens, or people who are into alien tech. But that's it for me. Uh, I'll probably have a video of a little bit of Christmas, because of course there are going to be some video games involved. And as always, play on!